The following is a class on Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 23, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on 27th November, 1972 in Hyderabad. Tapo nor society marut. So, definition by negation. Uh, directly, we cannot appreciate uh, what is that spiritual fragment particle which is within this body. Because the length and breadth of that spirit soul is impossible to be measured by our material instruments. Although the scientists say that we can measure it, uh, anyway, uh, even it is possible, first of all, you have to see where the soul is situated, then you can attain to measure it. First of all, you cannot see, uh, because uh, it is very, very small, one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair. Now, because we cannot see by our experimental knowledge, we cannot appreciate. Therefore, Krishna is describing the existence of the cell, soul in a negative way. It is not this. Sometimes when we cannot understand, the explanation is given, it is not this. Uh, if I cannot express what it is, then we can express in a negative way that it is not this. So what is that not this? The not this is that it is not material. The spirit soul is not material. But we have got experience of material things, uh, then how to understand that it is the negative? That is explained in the next part. That nainang chindanti sastrani, you cannot cut the spirit soul by any weapon, knife, sword, or thistle. It is not possible. Nainang chindanti sastrani. The Mayamad philosophy says that I am Brahma due to my illusion, I feel I am separated, otherwise I am one. But Krishna says that mamai vāṅsa jīva uh, So, does it mean that the, from the whole spirit, this fragment has been separated by cutting into piece? No. Nainang chindanti sastrāṇī. Uh, it cannot be cut into pieces. Then, the, then the answer is, that the spirit soul fragment is eternal, not that by maya it has become separate. No. How it can be? Because it cannot be cut into pieces. If I say, just like they put the arguments, ghatakas, patakas, that the sky within the pot 
and the sky outside the pot. On account of the wall of the pot, the sky within the pot is separate. But uh, how it can be separated? It cannot be cut into pieces. For arguments, eh? actually, we are very, very small particle, molecular parts of the spirit. Uh, so, uh, and they are eternally part, not that circumstantially it has become part and again it can join. It can join, but not that uh, in a homogeneous way, uh, mixed up way, no. Even it is joined, it, uh, the soul keeps his separate existence. Uh, just like a uh, green bar, when uh, he enters into the tree, it appears that the bird is now merged into the tree. But it is not that. The bird keeps its identity within the tree. That is the conclusion. Although both the tree and the bird being green, it appears that the bird is now merged into the tree. This merging does not mean that that the bird and the tree has become one. No. It appears like because both of them are the same color. It appears that the bird has there is no more existence of the bird. But that is not the fact. The bird is similarly we are individual spirit soul, the quality being one, say greenness. Uh, when one merges into the Brahma effulgence, the living entity does not lose his identity. And because he does not lose their identity, and because the living entity by nature is joyful, he cannot stay in the impersonal Brahma effulgence for many days because he has to seek out joyfulness. The joyfulness means varieties. So in the Brahma effulgence it is simply being chinmatra, uh, simply spirit. There is no varieties of spirit. It is simply spirit, just like the sky. The sky is also matter, but in the sky there is no variety. If you want varieties, uh, even in this material world, then you have to take shelter of a planet. Either you come to the earthly planet or go to the moon planet or sun planet. Uh, similarly, the Brahma effulgence is the glowing rays from the body of Krishna. Jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanna koti just like the sun sign is glowing effulgence from the sun globe, and within the sun globe there is the sun god. Similarly, there is in the spiritual world there is Brahma effulgence, impersonal, and within the Brahma effulgence there are spiritual planets. They are called Vaikuntha Lokas. And the topmost of the Vaikuntha Loka is Krishna Loka. Ah. So, from Krishna's body, the Brahma effulgence is coming out. Just prabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti. Ah. Everything is existing in that Brahma effulgence. Ah. Sarvam khalidam Brahma. Ah. In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, Masthani Sarvabhutani Nahangti Su Abhasthita. Everything existing on his effulgence, Brahma effulgence, just like the whole material world 
uh, innumerable planets, they are existing on the sun sign. The sun sign is impersonal effulgence of the sun globe, and there are uh, millions of planets resting on the sun sign. Uh, everything is happening on on account of the sun sign. Similarly, uh, the a Brahma effulgence coming out, the rays coming out from the body of Krishna, uh, and everything is resting on that Brahma effulgence. Actually, uh, different types of energies, just like from the sun sign, there are different types of colors, energies that is creating this material world. Uh, just like we can experience practically when there is no sun sign in Western countries, when there is snow, all the leaves of the tree immediately falls down. It is called fall, the season. Uh, it remains only uh, wood, piece of wood only. Again, when there is spring season, the sun sign is available. Uh, all at a time they become green. Uh, so as the sun sign is working in this material world, similarly the ultimate bodily rays of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is and the origin of all creation. Jasya prabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti. On account of the Brahma effulgence, millions and millions of Brahmandas or universes are coming out. Jasya ika nishasita kalama thavalamma jivanti loma vilaja jagadanna natha. Vishnu Mahan Sahya Jasya Kalavisi So Govinda Madhipurisam Tamang Bajan. So, here at this beginning of spiritual understanding that uh, spirit, the Supreme Spirit, cannot be cut into pieces. Nainang Chindanti Sastrani, Nainang Dahati Pavaka. Now try to understand. Uh, we are thinking, the modern scientists, they are thinking that there cannot be any life in the uh, sun glow. No, there is life. Uh, we get information from Vedic literature that there is life. There are also human beings like us, but they are made of fire. That's all. Uh, because we have got teeny experience that how in the fire a living entity can live. Uh, to answer this problem, Krishna says that nainaga dahati pavaka. Uh, why are you sitting there? You come there. Nainaga uh, dahati <clears> pavaka. <throat> the spirit soul cannot be burnt. Uh, if it would have been burned, then according to our Hindu system, we burn the body, then the soul is burnt. Uh, actually, the atheists think like that, that when the body is burned, then everything is finished. Uh, big, big professor, they think like that. Uh, but here Krishna says, nainanga dahati pavaka. It is not burned. Otherwise, how it exists? Nahannate hannamani sarire. The everything is very clearly stated. The soul does not burn. Neither it can be cut into pieces. Then, nachainam klezanti apo. Neither is it moistened. It cannot be wet in touch with water. Now in the material world, we find that anything, however hard it is, just like stone or iron, it can be cut into pieces. Uh, there is a separate machine or an instrument. It can be cut. Anything can be cut into pieces. And 
anything can be melted also. Uh, it requires a different type of temperature only, but everything can be burnt and melted. Uh, then anything can be moistened, uh, can be wet. But here it is said, na chai naṁ kledanti tāpa, na sosayati mārata. Neither it can be evaporated. That is eternity. That means any material condition cannot affect the soul. Jasangayam purusha. In the Vedas it is said, this living entity is always uh, without any touch with this material world. Uh, it is simply kavani. Uh, it is not in touch. Uh, just like my body, the present, this body, although it is covered by the sat and the coat, uh, it is not uh, attached. Uh, it is not mixed up. The body keeps always separate. Similarly, the soul always keeps separate from this material covering. Uh, it is simply on account of various plans and desires uh, that he is making for uh, uh, lording over this material nature. Everyone can see uh, the every living being is trying to lord it over the material nature. Uh, that is his disease. Uh, he wants to lord it. He is servant, but artificially he wants to become lord. That is the disease. Everyone, uh, ultimately when he fails to lord it over the material world, he says, oh, this material world is false. Now I shall become one with the Supreme. Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitha. Uh, but uh, because the spirit soul is part and parcel of Krishna, so by nature he is joyful. He is seeking after joy. Everyone of us, we are working so hard to find out some pleasure of life. So that pleasure of life cannot be had in the spiritual effulgence. Therefore, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, we get this information. The arujya krichena parang padam krichena, after undergoing severe austerity and penance, one may merge into the Brahma Ifalyan, sajujya mukti. It is called sajujya mukti. Sajujya, to merge. The arujya krichena parang padam. Even one goes up to that point to merge into the Brahma existence after severe austerity and penances, uh, still they fall down. Patanti uh, adha. Adha means again comes into this material world. Arujya krichena parang padang tata patanti adha. Why they fall down? Anadrita jusmadangaya. They will never agree God is person. They will never agree. Their teeny brain cannot accommodate that God, the Supreme, can be a person. Because he has experience of the person of himself or others. If, he, if God is a person like me and you, then how he can create innumerable universes? Uh, therefore, uh, to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, it requires enough pious activities. In Bhagavad Gita it is said, Bahunam Janmanam Anti. Uh, after speculating in the impersonal philosophical way, uh, when one is mature, Bahunam uh, Janmanam Anti, Gyanavan, when he is actually wise, so long he cannot understand that the Supreme Absolute Truth 
इज पर्सन सचिदानंद विग्रह ब्रह्मेति परमात्मे थी भगवान ही थी सरदत भगवान बदंती तत्तविदस तत्तम जद ज्ञानम अद्यम दिस स्टेटमेंट इन द श्रीमद भागवत दो शू नो दे एब्सुलू ट्रो दे नो दैट ब्रह्म परमात्मा एंड भगवान दे आर वन इट इज डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल जस्ट लाइक इफ यू सी वन हिल फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंट प्लेस यू विल फाइंड इमपर्सनल हेज इज समथिंग क्लाउड इफ यू गो स्टिल फॉरवर्ड देन यू कैन सी इट इज समथिंग ग्रीनिश एंड इफ यू गो एक्चुअली विद इन द हिल यू विल सी देर आर सो मेनी एनिमल्स ट्रीज मैन सिमिलरली those who are trying to understand the absolute from distance place or far away uh, they are realizing by speculation impersonal brahma who are still forward yogis uh, they can see a uh, localized aspect dhyana avasthita tad gatena manusa pashyanti yam yogina they can see dhanavasthita localized within himself uh, this is parmatma feature and <clears throat> those who are devotees they see krishna the supreme personality of god uh, eye to eye uh, one person to another nitya nityanam chetana chetanana uh, so Uh, actually the ultimate the last word of the absolute truth is person but hmm. but unfortunately those who are murhas or less intelligent abhijananti mang murha manusim tanuvas oh uh, krishna he may be god but he has become a person uh, taking the help of maya this is mayavad philosophy they are studying maya they put god also within maya this is mayavad philosophy uh, but god is not maya god is never covered by maya krishna says that mame madha prabuddhante maya me tang tarantite anyone who surrenders and to me he becomes free from the uh, clutches of maya how krishna can be within maya uh, that is not very good philosophy simply by surrendering unto krishna you become free from maya how the person the supreme person krishna can be within maya uh, therefore krishna says ya abhijananti mang murha manusim tanumas param bhav avajanan they do not know how much potential the lord is how much powerful he is they are comparing the power of the supreme lord with his own power a frog philosopher uh, the doctor frog uh, frog is considering atlantic ocean may be a little bigger than the uh, well because he is living always kupamandukanna uh, it is sanskrit it is called kupamandukanna kupa means well and manduka means uh, the frog the frog is perpetually within the well and if somebody informs him that there is another big span of water atlantic ocean he simply calculates that uh, it may be a uh, little more than this well little more than this well but he cannot understand how great he is so god is great we cannot understand how great he is that is our folly uh, we are simply calculating he may be one inch greater than me or one foot greater than me uh, that is mental speculation 
Therefore, Krishna says, Manasanam Sahasreshu Kaschit Jatati Siddhaya. Out of many millions of men, one may try to make his life successful, understanding the absolute truth. And Jatatamapi Siddhyana Kaschit Me Bhitti Tata. So we cannot understand God by our mental speculation. Neither we can understand uh, what is the measurement of the soul. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, we have to take information from the highest authority, Krishna, what is the nature of God, what is the nature of absolute truth, what is the nature of the soul. Uh, we have to hear. Uh, we have to hear. Therefore, the Vedic literature is called Sruti. You cannot make experiment. Uh, that is not possible. But uh, unfortunately, uh, there is a section of people who think that they can make experiment, they can know the absolute by mental speculation. Uh, the Brahma Sangita says, Panthastu kuti satavasa sampragamya bayu rathapi manasu munipungavanam Sapasti ja prabada seem na vichinta tati go vindavadi purisam tamahang bhajami. Pantastu koti was sara sampragam, yeah. For many millions of years, if you make your progress in the sky to find out God, where is God? Pantastu koti sata was sara sampragam, bayoratha, not this ordinary plane. But on the plane of air, uh, the velocity of air, or mind, the velocity of mind is very uh, quick. Immediately you are sitting here, your mind can go many millions of miles away if you have got idea. So either on the plane of mind or by the plane of air uh, and traveling uh, for many millions of years, you cannot find out. Not only ordinary person, but great saintly person, sages, they also cannot. So, another place, it is said in the Brahma Sangha, Vedesu durlava, adur lava atma bhaktho. Vedesu. If you simply study Vedas, uh, although the ultimate goal of studying Veda is to know Krishna, but if you want to study Vedas by your own speculative process, then he will always remain there. Vedesu durlava. Adurlava atma bhakta. But if you approach a devotee of the Lord, he can deliver. He can deliver. Mahiya sāṅga pādo rajobhi sekam niskin chanānāṅga navinita jāva nai sāṅga mati stāva durukrumāṅga Prahlāda Mahāsa says that you cannot have Krishna consciousness nai sāṅga mati stāva durukrumāṅga Krishna consciousness is not so easy. You cannot have it unless you surrender yourself niskin chanānā Mahiya sāṅga pādo rajobhi sīkam niskin chanānāṅga navinita jā. So long you do not take the dust of the lotus feet of a devotee, niskin chanāna, who has nothing to do with this material world. He is simply concerned with the service of the Lord. Unless you are in touch with such a person, it is not possible to attain Krishna consciousness. These are the statements of Vishāt. So, Krishna is the supreme absolute truth and He is person. But we cannot understand Him unless we go through a Krishna bhakta. Therefore, to understand Krishna, Krishna has come down as a bhakta, Lord Chaitanya Maha. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitta Ananda, 
श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवाशादि गौर भक्त सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णा थ्रू लॉर्ड चैतन बिकॉज कृष्ण हिमसेल हैज कम कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिनी रूप गोस्वामी वेन ही मेट फर्स्ट चैतन्य महापुर नॉट फर्स्ट फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम ही मेट वेल वाइल ही वॉज मिनिस्टर इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ नवाब हुसैन शाह एंड देन आफ्टर मीटिंग चैतन्य महापुर वॉन्टेड दैन टू फुलफिल हिज मिशन सो दे डिसाइडेड टू डिजाइन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट सर्विस एंड जॉइन चैतन्य महाप्रभु to spread this krishna consciousness movement uh, therefore when rupa goswami met chaitanya mahaprabhu at alabad prayag the first verse he composed in this connection he said namo mahabadanaya krishna prema pradayat my lord you are the most munificent incarnation why because you are distributing krishna prem people cannot understand what is krishna and what to speak of krishna prem but that krishna prem you are distributing like anything namo uh, mahavadan therefore you are the most uh, munificent charitable person namo uh, mahavadanaya padanna means one who is very charitable gives in charity as much as you like so chaitanya mahaprabhu because people misunderstood krishna krishna asked in the, in the bhagavad gita that he surrender unto me what can he do he is god he is krishna yeah that he is ask you orders you to surrender i take my charge of you aham twa sarva but still people misunderstood Oh, is like surrender to Krishna. He is also a man like me, maybe a little important, but why should I surrender to him? Because here the material disease is not to surrender. Everyone is puffed up. I am something. This is material disease. Therefore. to become cured from this material disease you have to surrender tad vidhi panipate na pariprasne na sevaya upadakshanti tad gyanam gyanina tat darshan ah so unless you are prepared to surrender that is a great difficult job for the materialistic person nobody wants to surrender he wants to compete may individually person to person uh, family to family nation to nation everyone is trying to become the master where is the question of surrendering there is no question of surrender uh, so uh, this is the disease therefore krishna demands that to cure this rascal dumb or uh, must chronic disease you surrender sarva dharma an paritta jama me kang saranam bhajo then if i surrender then the whole thing will be failure my business my plans my so many things uh, no i take charge uh, i take charge of you ahang twa sarva pape bhama khoisam masu cha they don't be worry so much assurance is there still you are not prepared to surrender this is our material disease therefore krishna came again as a devotee just to show how to surrender to krishna chaitanya mahap krishna varnam thisa krishna sang pang as the pass so this krishna consciousness movement is very scientific and authorized uh, it is not a, a bogus thing something manufactured by concoction of the mind Uh, it is authorized uh, the based on the vedic uh, instruction uh, as krishna says sarva dharman puritajjamam ekam saranam braja so we teach only this philosophy 
that is Krishna. Here is Krishna, the supreme personality of God. You are searching after God. You cannot understand what is God. Here is God, Krishna. His name, His activities, everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. You accept and surrender unto Him. And as Krishna says, Manvana bhavamad bhakta madhyari namaskuru. So we are speaking the same thing as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. We don't misinterpret. We don't spoil the whole Bhagavad Gita. We don't do this mischief. Sometimes people, they say, Swami, you have done wonderful. What wonderful? I am not a magician. My only credit is, I have not spoiled the Bhagavad Gita as presented as it is. Therefore, it is successful. Thank you very much.